Hi, my name is Allie, and I am here to talk to you about licensing and healthcare, and why is it important? I remember the first time a massage therapist told me that they did not have a license. It was during a massage, and I was noticing that the therapist was pressing into an area that we were taught never to put pressure on. The reason being, it was a spot without muscle tissue, but with many highly sensitive nerves close to the skin. Pressure here can cause nerve damage quite easily, and unless you were told about it, you would have no idea that it existed. Unless, of course, someone was pressing deep into it and causing shooting pain, like my therapist currently was. So, I asked her one unassuming but very telling question. Where did you go to school? She hesitated, then timidly admitted that she did not go to school, that she apprenticed under so-and-so. I immediately ended the session. I unfortunately hear lots of talk around licensing being unnecessary. The argument usually being that just because you have a license doesn't mean that you know what you're doing. Now, that could be true to an extent. However, to obtain a license, you need extensive education, certification, and testing. You do have to prove that you know a thing or two in order to pass and receive the license. A license is the result of continued dedication. It's a declaration that you take what you do seriously. There's a reason that we have an education system. It's a way to vet who actually knows their stuff and who doesn't. Not to say that there aren't flaws in the education system, there are, but the thing about education is that it is constantly evolving to include more relevant and current information. Higher education is not arbitrary. It's based on many years of trial, error, controlled testing, and hundreds of minds working together. In the case of massage, it's based on knowledge that has been built up for thousands of years. When your health is on the line, it is extremely risky to put yourself in the literal hands of someone who has not been properly trained. Case in point, the therapist pressing into my popliteal fossa, back of the knee, ouch. Another reason for licensing um, and why it is so important is for the ongoing validity of professions. Massage therapy in particular had taken a massive hit in Western culture when people began using massage as a guise for unrelated and often forced work. When people claim to be professionals and then aren't, the entire field becomes unreliable and untrusted. This is so sad because it takes away powerful healing from many people and it ruins the careers of others. So if you care about helping others and you want to be a body worker or any kind of professional, know that being unlicensed is hurting everybody and it's dismantling all the hard work that has been put into the field by everybody else. Also, it's the law, so don't put yourself at risk of fines or lawsuits. If you want to be a force for good through your career, I implore you, get the education and license yourself, if for no other reason than your own confidence. It is such a gift to be educated, to be able to learn and grow. Your profession is something to take immense pride in. So excel, keep going, don't stop. Keep learning, give yourself the respect of training, dedication, and education. And as a client, always make sure that the practitioner that you are paying your hard-earned money for takes their profession and your health seriously enough to get licensed. If you're interested in more, 
Here's a super inspiring video I found. I put it in the link below. This is Edna Ismail on the importance of education. She's fascinating. She's wonderful. Take a look. Thank you so much. This is Allie with Stone Tree. Thanks for listening and have a beautiful day.